Okay guys, so before we do our rotisserie chicken, what's a good idea is to first brine your chicken. So here I have my chicken in a brining solution in this pot here. So this has been brining now for about three hours. Of course, you can also leave it overnight as well. Um, so what I did here, I put 16 cups of water and I put three quarter cup of salt in it, three quarter cup of sugar and I also put about two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, homemade dark soy sauce that I made. I will link a video um, showing you how I made my homemade dark soy sauce. So that's what I did in here. Now I did put a cover here, a small cover here, and that was to help to ensure that the chicken remain submersed in the solution. So I'm just going to remove it here now. And now we're going to remove the chicken from here. And put it in this tray here. And we're just going to use some paper towels to dry our chicken. We want to dry it well. And then we're going to oil it and we're going to stuff the inside with some, well, what, well you can stuff it with whatever you, you wish and put your dry rub on it. And then you will need to truss the chicken or tie up the chicken so that when you put it in the rotisserie oven, the wings are not sticking out. Okay, so I'm just going to dry the chicken. Okay, so now that we have dried our chicken, I'm going to stuff, now before I stuff the insides, let me go wash my hands again, and then I'm going to sprinkle the chicken with my homemade dry rub, after which I'm going to stuff the chicken with some sive, some garlic, and some seasoning peppers and then I'm going to truss or tie up my chicken. So let me wash my hands so that I can use um, some of my dry rub to sprinkle inside and outside the chicken. Of course, before I do that, I'm going to have to oil the chicken with some olive oil. Okay, so in order to prevent any cross-contamination, my homemade dry rub that I have here, I'm just going to pour some into this container so that I can dip my hand in here to rub this all over the chicken and I would not contaminate this, um, the jar that I have with the rest of it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so first we're going to oil our chicken with some olive oil and give it a nice massage. Okay, that should be enough. So we're just going to Massage our chicken all over. All right. So that's well oiled. So I'm just going to take some of my dry rub here. And just sprinkle some down inside here. Season 
the inside of our chicken. Now there's a space between the skin here. I'm just going to sprinkle some of the dry rub down there as well so that everywhere nicely seasoned. Right. So I think that's I think that's good there. So now I'm just gonna stuff everything back in. Okay guys, so I have finished rubbing my chicken and stuffing the inside and trussing the chicken with the string, the twine. So now I'm going to put the rod in through the chicken. I apologize, I thought that I was filming um, while I was doing the, the rubbing of the chicken and the trussing of the chicken, but it turns out that my camera had run out of space, so it had stopped recording. All right, so we're just gonna stick this through, this rod through here. Actually, let me try, maybe I should try sticking it through. Okay, I guess I can get it through there. All right, so our chicken is ready for our rotisserie oven. So I'm now going to put it in to the oven. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to put on my rotisserie oven for about an hour and a half. Okay guys, so I'm just going to remove the rod and the twine here and I'm just going to leave the chicken to rest for a few minutes before I cut into it. But I will show you how it looks as I'm cutting into it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so our rotisserie chicken is now complete. So once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.